Okay, so long story short, I was doing the diving trick this morning and I actually did get a public works project suggestion, but unfortunately I wasn't recording for it. I believe it was Kitty who suggested the illuminated heart, which is actually a really cute one. We received our artwork from Red in the mail and thankfully I did actually remember to hand it in this time. I think what I'm going to start doing in the interest of saving time and growing more hybrid flowers is I'm going to start alternating days that I water and days that I... I guess only water the hybrids. One day I'll just water the hybrids and the next day I probably just water everything to prevent stuff from wilting. Hopefully we'll get more this way. The Nookling store is upgrading today, which kinda sucks because I can't even visit the garden shop. It's all for the better though, so I guess I'll just have to be patient. I just remembered that I really did want to give our ghostly roommate a little bit more love, so I ended up scanning in Luna's amiibo card. I don't think I've actually really ever scanned in the NPCs like this. I've also made enough to fully pay off the campsite public works project, so hopefully we can start a new one tomorrow. Hmm, things seem a little loud and messy today. I wander the town square and I think I'm a little underdressed. A quick stop by the Evil Sisters and I'm ready for whatever this is. The dancing bird in the plaza introduces himself as Pave and demands that I find blue feathers if I don't want to dance. I guess I don't see why not. I end up finding lots of different colored feathers, but not three blue ones. I stop by Chatter's house and he says we could play a game to earn feathers. Unfortunately, I can't read mine, so I end up losing a feather. I end up finding a special rainbow feather, so I think I'll keep that one for myself. Pave doesn't need to know about this one. After lots of searching and plenty of trading and games with the villagers, I finally find three blue feathers. Pave seems... happy? I'm rewarded with part of the Pave furniture set for handing them over, so I guess we could earn some bells this way. I also found another rainbow feather while I was searching, so I handed that over as well. It turns out Pave accepts those also and gives me another piece of furniture. It took over an hour of trying and I still didn't get all the furniture. I'm not really interested in collecting it for my house anyway, so I sell it to retail for a very tidy amount. I think we'll put this towards our next public works project. Well, this is different. Welcome to Calico with no snow. I guess this is actually our very first time seeing it. I've been doing the diving trick before recording recently, and this morning we actually got the fire pit as a suggestion, so that's kind of neat. I think it could look cool around the campsite. Actually, you know what? Speaking of, it looks like we have a camper today. Our watering is coming along. I know I could make it easier on myself by activating the beautiful town ordinance, but it wouldn't be as much of a challenge then. The person camping out turns out to be Peewee. I wonder what he thinks of the almost fully cat town. I decide to reorganize the flowers to fill in the space behind the tent so I don't really have to worry about fossils spawning back there. We also end up having the ceremony for the campsite today. Poor, poor Peewee in there. I head back to Town Hall after and Isabel says we still need to add more public works projects to Calico. I decide to go with my old favorite, the street lamp. I already figured out the perfect place would be one on each side of our soon-to-be roundabout. Now that work is out of the way, let's do some shopping. Timmy and Tommy's store has expanded again and now they're selling music so I make sure to pick up whatever this song is. Lee's store has also expanded so we can finally get more bushes. Still no golden axe though, unfortunately. Must be my lucky day, Hix finally has my rainbow socks. It seems we still have a decent amount of bells on us, so I decide to pay off half of our current home loan. I feel like we've been super productive today. Finally, I want to scan in a villager to represent that productivity, and I can think of no one better to recognize our accomplishments than Phineas. We add his picture to our collection.
I think I like Calico even more in the spring. I still can't really get over it. Red is visiting again today, so I make sure to stop by and pick up the Worthy painting, which is always genuine, by the way. After I finish the watering and the fossil finding, I head over to TIY and pick up Cafe KK and a classic wall, which might look better than the alpine wall with the refurbished furniture we have at the moment. I also stop by the garden shop and it seems like today is finally the day. Not that we have many trees to chop down, but this is really nice to have. I ended up scanning in Tom Nook today, and I have to admit it's actually kind of weird not seeing him in his new island clothes, but I guess we have less than a month left to wait, right? I just remembered that Rosie's birthday is tomorrow, so I better find something for her. I start off by checking retail, since recycling is always good, but they don't actually have anything that would really fit her. TIY doesn't really have anything either, but I could always order something and wrap it for her tomorrow. Here's hoping I actually remember this time. Finally, we have the ceremony for the new streetlight, and I'm happy to see Chatter is starting to mix in well with the cat villagers. I take the time to also put down the other streetlight to make this area nice and even. Hopefully we'll get the suggestion for the statue fountain for the center area really soon. Hello there everyone, welcome on in, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to Calico Not Memory, I promise. Welcome on in, you guys. So, it is relatively early. My voice is gonna sound a little bit off. I still haven't quite woken up yet, but I'm here and I'm filming. <laughs> Welcome on in, you guys. So I didn't get the chance to film yesterday, unfortunately. I did water my flowers and everything. I did actually attend Rosie's birthday party, but it was all very late and I wasn't in the mood to film. So, hope you guys understand. Uh, so we got our picture the worthy painting from red which is apparently always genuine at least according to the planner for acnl app uh and then from rosie it's on crystal that birthday present you gave me is already one of my all-time faves i used my idle intuition to pick out this one for you so let's see whose pick is the best all right let's see what she sent us a cloudy tea i think that's actually kind of a cute one I can go ahead and get rid of her birthday message, but I'm gonna keep that one. You know what? That's really cute. I don't really know if I'm digging it for my character at the moment. I'm also kind of attached to that gray parka, not gonna lie. Don't really want to change it, but that's okay. All right, um, let's see here. So we're on a day. I mentioned it a while ago how I wanted to start alternating days where I water my flowers. So some days I water all flowers, other days I only water the hybrids. So we are actually on a hybrid watering day. So I'm actually going to do that now before I forget. <laughs> uh, and then the others I don't even have to worry about. And it just, it makes my, you know, recording time and play time in the game so much more easy to, I guess, handle, because I was I was really going hard on them hours, and uh, as much as I love this game, there's only so much time in a day, right? <laughs> Whoop, nope, that didn't water correctly. There we go. There we go. We're getting some of our, uh, some of our hybrids back. We did have all of them at one point, or nearly all of them, and then I ruined it, so. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have had an amazing week. It has been actually a pretty good one for me. Um, I was able to record a lot more, I was able to focus, I think, a little bit better than I was last week. And overall, it was it was pretty good. Um, Festival was this week, which, by the way, recording that, I had the biggest headache you can imagine. Just absolute, like, I felt like someone had punched me in the head repeatedly. And trying to focus on a very small screen, even, even on my computer, even through the capture card, um, and focus on finding feathers amongst all this confetti plus the music from festival going on it was awful and it was it was just it was a bad time it was a bad time i would not recommend it to anyone <laughs> there we go oh our street lights are both done look at that i think that's gonna look really nice especially when the statue fountain is in which is the centerpiece i want in here it's two by two i'm pretty sure and if it's not that kind of ruins my plan but oh well 
Bob, where do you go, buddy? I saw you up here. Oh, Katrina's in today. Good evening, Crystal. Wait a sec. It's not evening at all. Let's try again. Good morning. So what can I do for you? It's redecorating time at Casa Bob. Right now I've got a capsule toy machine, but I'm looking for something to replace it that's around the same size. Since you have an eye for this sort of thing, will you let me know if you have any ideas? Cool. Alright, awesome. So that is, I think, a one, one by one item. So that should be relatively easy to replace. Let's go say hi to Lolly. I think that may have been Kabuki or Stinky walking by on the other side there. Oh yeah, she changed her shirt a couple days ago. I don't think I mentioned it. And I honestly think this is one of the cutest shirts I've ever seen her in. I really like it. Well, I borrowed something from Stinky a while ago and never returned it. I should have returned it sooner and now I kind of feel awkward about it. I don't suppose you'd mind running this over for me? I'm going to apologize later, but for now I just want to give it back. I got you, girl. Especially if that was him outside. I double got you, which I'm pretty sure it was. Actually, looking at the pictures of the cats at the top of the screen, I'm pretty sure those were his ears. It comes to something when you can tell just by their ears. I swear you guys. <laughs> I played this game too much. Was I right? Oh, public works project. I didn't even do the thing today. Whoa, those calves of yours are really shaping up. You've been training hard, haven't you? You deserve a reward. Oh, a military uniform? Dude, there's military- Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna ask. Like he said, I'm not gonna ask. But I was right about his ears. <laughs> Alright, that's sketchy. That is sketchy. Has anything, dude. It's from Lolly. Is it that thing I lent out a million years ago? Wow, it's even- it's, sorry, it's in even better condition than when I lent it to her. I should lend more stuff to her. They've got you running errands. Do they have dirt on you? Well, anyway. Thanks for making the delivery gains. <laughs> And another shirt. Sunset tank. Okay, cool. So I think I'm kind of in that phase with my villagers where they like me and they want to give me stuff, but the only stuff they actually give me is clothing. I'm not really complaining. I don't I don't really mind either way. Is Kabuki in? He's not. Okay. Um, ooh. Fossil. Um, I'm still missing a fossil, by the way. Thank you to those last week who pointed out the one behind Bob's house. Totally didn't see it. Um, so if you see that fourth fossil, or if you visit my dream town and you happen to find it, which by the way, I'll let people know again now, uh, if you think you see a fossil in the very top left-hand corner of town, that is not a fossil, that is my pitfall. So, just, you know, putting it out there. <laughs> uh, I can't find the fourth one. Um, oh. Did he just weed something? What was that noise? All right, cool. I have no clue what that was, but I'll take it. Oh, <gasps> I always do that. Oh man, fine. I'll replace it, just give me a second. That's not meant to be there. Those are good. Um, these are some other hybrids I'm trying to work on. I don't think pink flowers actually breed together very well, but it's better than not trying, so... Uh, Punchy's house is not fully covered on the back. See, I'm really suspicious of all these villager houses now. There we go. How about down here? Nope, nothing. Okay. Um... I'm also still kind of getting used to the grass. I've been so used to having snow for so many months now. And... It's gonna take me a while to uh, get used to finding fossils on a green backdrop instead of on a white one, so um, I'm probably gonna be even more blind when it comes to fossils than usual. Hey, Tangy. What's going on? Oh, hi there. I almost fell asleep just standing there. You were, you were actually asleep, but all right. 
I heard this rumor that the wharf roach is in right now. So I just have to have one too. Think you could catch one for me? I'm gonna say yes. I'm probably not gonna find it. Is that the one that's only on the island? Or in the summer, maybe? Either way. Um, probably not going down to the beach again. But if I do, I will. I will try and find it for her. Um, so this area over here is actually fully filled in now, so I don't really have to worry about that anymore, which is very, very nice, I'm not gonna lie. The more areas I can fill in, the better I feel about finding my fossils. Like, for example, back here. I don't even plan to use these flowers here, and they're all just, you know, hanging out, doing their thing. Okay, nothing around Rossetti. Uh, this area back here is actually all filled in now as well, and I w ooh, actually, not fully, nearly. Um, I was actually thinking of having blue and pink back there, but I kind of really like the purple and white. So I might make this area over here blue and pink. But I'm not- I'm not certain on that yet. We'll see how things go. There we go. Very good. Get these all nice and watered. Also, these are just- like, I don't know what else to do with them, so they're just kind of hanging there. Um, if you're curious. <laughs> black I'm also working on. Uh, these I'm actually working on for something very specific. I think I've decided actually you guys around the uh, cafe down here I've always been very indecisive about what sort of flowers I wanted but I think what I'm gonna do with this town is I'm going to make a mix of black and gold and just make it look super super fancy um, but to get gold roses I need a the perfect town because I need the golden water and cam but B I also need uh, lots of black roses and then some of them to wilt so that I can water them with that golden watering can. Um, which is gonna take a while. Um, which is why I, I still haven't put on beautiful town ordinance partially. Get rid of you. There we go. Oh, I see something over there. Let's see, we only have one so far, but that's okay. Oh, hi, chatter. Oh, and there's another one. Chatter, that watering can is far too big for you, buddy. Let's drag you along the floor. Actually, that's... That's clipping you in the floor, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> I've got a passion for a particular kind of fruit crystal, but it only grows in other towns. Yep, the pear... Don't I have pears? I'll check. Maybe I may have had some dropped off at one point and I never um, planted them, but I could have sworn I had pears. Okay, so these areas are filling in very nicely. Let's see here. Okay, nothing there. Stinky's up there. We've already spoken to Stinky. Um... These areas, I don't really know what I'm doing with them yet, I'm not gonna lie. I know that I want to surround this entire area with flowers and just not have to worry about checking behind the bushes every day. Um, so you can see I've kind of started that up here, but like I have no clue what flowers or if I want to do like one type or if I want to do a mix or maybe what I could do is just do a random assortment of flowers and just kind of dump them here. Because I don't really do that in my towns. I tend to have things very organized, so maybe I'll have one section of you know, kind of chaos. <laughs> we'll see, though. Okay, nothing there. Is that a four-leaf clover? Yes, I love those. I love, love, love having those grow around my town. Oh, hello. Okay, um, let's work on this side first. So I have a couple things. Oh, I thought I picked up a white one. I picked up a uh, red instead. My apologies. There you go. Well, that still works out. Let's go see who this is. Oh, <gasps> Nate! Hi, bud! You're from this town, aren't you? I'm having a great time camping here. Oh, Nate is such a sweetheart. I had him for the very first time, and I actually still have him in our uh, streamed city folk town. And... He kind of won my heart. I never had known him before. I thought his unibrow was kind of weird, but he's actually just the biggest sweetheart. <gasps> oh, pink. Nice. Uh, I think that's going around Lolly's house. So let's go do that really quick before I forget. Because I will. <laughs> you guys know me. I'll forget. 
And Katrina, I have not forgotten about you. I will go and see you in just a second here. Oh, hey, actually, is her house done? Oh, God, her house is done. Um, Actually, I could continue on this side. Never mind, we're all good. I should probably go ahead and just do Katrina now, I guess. See what my fortune is. Up in the sky, Golden Venus, ruler of love, has fallen for Pisces. From this place I can see the signs. Oh yes I can. I can see good fortune upon love. Checkered socks. <laughs> this item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. I don't know if checkered socks are what I think of when it comes to romance, but you know, whatever you say, Katrina. Well, I don't think I'm going to be changing out of my rainbow socks anytime soon, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, I am very, very attached to these. And for those who have not noticed, I did actually take off my shoes. I am running around in socks. I'm an adult, you can't stop me. My poor little feet when it rains, you guys. <laughs> uh, rear nine lamp. Okay, cool. I was like, are they upgrading again? There's no way, but thankfully not. Although now that they have like music and stuff in the store, I'm going to be trying to buy that every time I go in there. So maybe we'll get those upgrades a little bit faster. How many fossils? We're at three. So that's pretty much my max. Uh, for those who are going to help me with the fossil hunt, I'll show you. This is a pitfall. 100% a pitfall. I can promise you. I'm not going to step on it to test it. You can step on it and dream if you want. It won't affect my real town, obviously, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't find that last one. It's. I probably have passed it, and I probably mentioned not being able to find it while passing it. Let's open up this, because we're going to be donating that. And then this... Um, where am I putting those? Let me see here. I know where I'm putting them, I just don't know if that area is full up already or not. Gosh darn, I need two yellows and I have a red? Seriously? Oh well. That's okay. Um, Bob, where should I put this, buddy? I'm just gonna put it in here for now and pretend that it's meant to be there. It's definitely not, but like, you know. Most people don't know that. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go ahead, get our fossils assessed, and donate this painting before I forget. Uh, we will also update our dream because I always like to update that whenever I play for you guys. And it is a gorgeous day in Calico today, so I might as well. And then I guess we'll go shopping. So he hasn't actually taken any fossils from me in a little while, but I also blame that on not finding all four. Um, I have completely lost track of how many I've donated and how many I need left. I've been lazy about the app, let's put it that way. No, see again, he doesn't, he doesn't want any of them. But I don't think I donated everything yet, so... And there you go, there's your worthy painting. There we go, no thank you dude. Awesome. Uh, so that makes things a little bit better. I feel like because I, you know, play not maybe every day, but I do play very very much frequently to film the updates for Catlico. I feel like my museum has been progressing a lot faster with this town just because I, you know, I'm actually there on days when Red is there because I had a horrible habit of missing him in some of my older towns. 
Okay, let's get this updated real quick. Awesome, there we go. Just wanted to make sure I got that done, because, again, bad habit of mine, just, like, saying, oh, I'll do it after I finish recording, or I'll do it, I'll, like, water my flowers after I finish recording. I tend to forget, <laughs> so uh, I tend to be so antsy to, like, get this uploaded and have it out on time, which I don't even know what on time is for this anymore. Um, you know what, let's go sell off everything first, and then we'll, we'll come back. I also haven't been buying, uh, turnips for the last couple weeks. Um, no reason per se. I've just, I've usually been busy on Sunday mornings. Hi, Public Works Project. I've heard that people are calling you champ. I love the sound of that. Well, would you mind if I call you that too? You can go ahead. I would have preferred a bridge, but it's alright. One day. Um, so again, something I've been doing, and I think I mentioned it earlier, I'll mention it again, is... In the mornings, before I actually start recording Calico, what I've been doing is I've been setting it up so that I'm doing the diving trick and trying to get public works projects off camera. Um, I hope you guys really don't mind that. It's just faster for me that way and it gives us more to play around with when I'm actually filming. Um, so this week we got uh, the illuminated heart, I think, and the fire pit, I believe. I believe those are the two things we got. Also, we're still looking for something for Bob. I don't think I want him to have anything in here. So keep that in mind when we're out shopping, I guess. There we go, all right. So I just remembered something. I'm gonna have to get the paths or the corner paths for this, uh, this path set. I actually didn't put it in because it has little pieces of grass on the corners, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And I thought it would look kind of weird during winter, but now that spring is here, I don't really have an excuse. So, um, I think I'm gonna lose a couple design squares here. Yeah, so I'm... See, here's the thing. You can actually save over your town flag, fun fact. It won't actually disappear, which is fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to be getting rid of that one, that one, this one, and the flag itself. Um, I just have to make sure that I actually really like the flag because I would have to remake it from the ground up. Oh! What time is it? Oh my god, it is early! Gosh darn it! Dark blarget, as my villagers would say. Oh man. Well, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We can do that later. Um, for the time being then, let's, let's go look at Public Works projects. Let's go do that. That usually takes me like a solid amount of time to decide what I'm doing with my life. No, thank you. Also, we're still gonna have to do the ceremony, I think, for the second, the second uh, lamp. Yeah, there we go. Seriously, only three people? Actually, have I even seen anyone else outside today? There we go. Awesome. I'm really happy to see Chatter attending more of these, honestly. Oh, yellow? Yellow. That is not yellow. Gosh darn it. You could have helped. 
Uh, white are going up by the um, campsite. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Um, let's see here. I need to make like a little pathway up here. Maybe I'm thinking of getting some like uh, stepping stone paths. I don't know where I'd put them, mind you, but something like that. Um, and using them uh, to go down to the beach or to go up here. But I could also just use four leaf clovers if I can collect enough of those, maybe. I thought that might be kind of cute. Uh, and then yellow. Um. Do I have a place for yellow anymore? I don't think I do. Oh well. I'll find a place later. Uh, let's head back to the town hall. I am so looking forward to when we don't have to use that bridge anymore. Um, and I don't really know what public works project I want to put down. I, I love having benches in my town and I know, you know, there's a couple of places where our villagers always hang out and I think they would actually use benches in these areas, but um, there isn't a really good pla place to put them, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so these are our two bridges at the moment. This is the bench I'd probably be putting down. I have a bench I like better, but I should probably try using different stuff in this town, if you know what I mean. Water well, I always end up not liking where I put that. <laughs> the fountain, I usually love putting down. I just don't have a good place in mind. Park clock is good. We already have two of those. This is the new suggestion. Another suggestion. Ah. Uh... I never- I always feel like the fence is kind of redundant. I have flowers everywhere. Uh, oh, we got a yield or a caution sign or something. I think this might have been it. We got a caution sign, I think, yesterday? At some point we did. Lunade heart, and then the lunade arch. Um, I kind of want to do the, the fountain, but I don't have a place for it. You know what, let's just- Let's just wander. Let's take a look, see what we have going on. I have a couple places that I usually like to put it, but they don't really work in this town. Sometimes I like to put it in front of the town hall, but I have houses very close by. Uh, other times I'll put it, you know, just below the train station, but I have a... Um, Yes, Isabella. <laughs> she was looking at me as I run. Um, I have a, a pond there. So I don't really know where I'd put it. See, like, I don't think that would- that would be kind of awkward, right? Um... It'd feel weird for me to not have a pond in my town, though I'm not gonna lie. I've- I've, like, always had one. Um, uh, maybe- oh, hi guys. Man, I- that bridge, I swear, the villagers congregate there. They all do. Um, and it's actually one of my favorite things in town, so. Um, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't know how I feel about that. Um, see, part of me is like, oh, like, you know, just shove it in here. But like, it's a three by three, I think, and this would be two by two, and it. Mm. <laughs> Isabel, what do you think? I think the unevenness would actually get to me. And it's kind of weird to have it right there, I think. Let me think this over. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, so, if I was to do it, I'll do what I did last week. I'll plan it out just so that you guys can see and we can kind of decide together because... I'm indecisive. Um, 
So these middle squares where the cat face is, this is where the fountain would actually be, I think. And then, just like last week as well, I would have to do like a little bit of a... Oh, I'd have to move it out pretty far, huh? I would probably do like a little bit of a walkway around it, so it essentially becomes another roundabout, which I always do like using, don't get me wrong. And this is where I would need a corner path. Oh, uh, I'm... If I moved it down one, I could keep those where they are. But then it's really weird here. So I would probably remove this bush and this bush here. So that this would be a too wide corner, maybe. Sorry, it's kind of hard to remember where those things go. So yeah, that that would be one side. And then the other side would go out like that as well. Um, it might not be too noticeable that this is only too wide though. Maybe. Um, so it goes down to like here. Oh, that's the wrong side. Oh, well. Yeah, it... I would definitely need to remove this. I don't think that's too bad. It would be kind of like a weird, like, whoop. Like, you know, you'd have to go around. But I can't really put it down here, either. It's too close to the villager houses, I think. I don't know. Maybe I should just do a bench today. I'll show you guys where I was thinking of putting a bench. I'll fix that situation later. Uh, we'll keep it in mind, I'll leave the paths down as a placeholder, like we're doing for the fountain area, but I don't have to use it. Um, so all of my villagers love to hang out around here, but this would, this is too close, first off. Um, and I don't really want it on one side or the other, if you know what I mean. Uh, the only other place I could think of would be like somewhere around here but it and this is where new horizons comes in it feels kind of awkward to have a bench facing away from the plaza if you know what i mean i don't know i do have another place in mind though um it would be along here actually that would be centered oh kind of not really centered if you don't count the tree line it's centered. <laughs> um, I might actually do that, you know what? I wish it would be like, hey, do you want to come back to the town hall with me? Or what else do you want to work on? Instead of being like, okay, I'll just leave you here and you have to run back yourself. It's okay though. Actually, you know, while we're here, I should probably check out our citizen satisfaction rating thing. Hmm, it's not a passing grade, but it's not really failing either. So middle ground. It's like this town is more than friends, but not ready to be a couple yet. It needs real commitment. Okay, so more public works projects. That's fine. I got you. I'm just gonna stick with the yellow bench. I'm gonna- I'm gonna stick with what I know. I was thinking modern, but I just don't really think that fits what I'm going for here. Hmm. 
There we go. At least I know where I'm gonna put this one. See, like, again, like, I kind of want, like, a bench seating area in front of the roost as well, but it's it's awkward that it's not facing the way it should be. And I could always just ignore that and deal with it, but... Uh, I forget which side I'm meant to be on. Is it this side? Yep. So if you ignore the tree line... If you just look at the flower patch, it's centered, which makes me happy. So I think that was like a 39,000 one, I believe. Which we don't have the bells for that right now. Nope, 30,000. So you know what? Let me put down 20. There we go. So it's not quite there. Very close. But you guys, I think I'm going to have to wrap up today's episode here. Unfortunately, uh, just in terms of timing, we couldn't go shopping. But that's okay. We always have a next day. We did get the golden axe yesterday. Or the, sorry, the day before. So I am pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, it has been a fairly productive week, I want to say. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so very much for watching. If you want some more Animal Crossing content, I have a couple other Let's Plays on this channel that are older. I also stream Animal Crossing Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, every single, I guess, weekend, uh, on my Twitch channel. If you're interested, links are down below. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.